Are we teaching our patients to share their story? Do the patients understand the value of their story? Hi, I'm Dr. Greg Miller. Welcome to AMC. Today, we're going to be talking about referrals. And doctor, I have a question for you. Are you frustrated because you're not hitting your new patient referral goals? If that's the case, this video is for you. I really do believe that um, this is an important moment for you. How many of you, by raising your hands, not that I can see them, but by raising your hands, when you graduated from school, you, your desire was to have a stress-free, self-sustaining, referral-based, profitable practice. Self-sustaining, stress-free, referral-based, profitable practice. Hands up. I've never, when I've been teaching a class at AMC, had anybody tell me that anything other than that, that that is exactly what they wanted when they walked across the stage and got their diploma. Problem is, they weren't always, or you, weren't always given the tools about how to do that. We have practices right now, and I talk to you all day long. We have practices that are struggling because of the pandemic. We have practices that are burnout practices. We have practices that were what we call diarrhea practices because the patients are going out the back door as fast as they're coming in the front door. We want to help you with that. We wanna make a difference for you because you're a chiropractor and that's what you deserve. The only way I know of to tackle those challenges is to put a system in place in your office. A system introduces efficiency. As you use the system, you become proficient. As you become proficient, you become productive. And as you become productive, if everything is lined up the way that it should be, you become profitable. And doctor, that's what you deserve. You deserve to be profitable and paid well for what you do for your patients. Now, today, we're not talking about self-sustaining, stress-free, although it indirectly we are, we're talking about referrals and why patients refer. You already know that the referred patient is the most desirable new patient in your office. Why is that? Because they already know the experience, or at least they have a good idea of the experience that you're gonna have. But when was the last time you had a, a new patient come into your office and say to you, I'm here because my friend told me you were a specialist with my condition. Doctor, every single patient that comes into your office believes their condition is unique. And if they tie that with you being the doctor that can, tr can treat their unique condition, that is a win-win scenario. So we, one of the things that we've been working on really, really hard the last couple of years for our doctors is to help you become the go-to doctor in your community. No matter what the condition is, no matter what the patient is dealing with, no matter what questions they have, we want you and your office to be the place that they think about. So who refers? Oftentimes, when I ask that question, doctors will tell me it's the patients who have success in my office. If I get them better, they're going to refer. And the hard, cold reality of that is that the data does not prove that to be the case. The data, and we have decades of data, tells us that number one, the patient must like you, and number two, they must trust you and believe that you're the doctor that can help them. So when, when we do that, the problem becomes that our patients are not necessarily taught how to share their story. They don't understand the value of their story. Once we know that they like you and they trust you and believe you can help them, getting that message from your office out into the community and out into those referred new patients becomes the real challenge. And part of that is teaching the patients to share their story. But you have to have a system to do that. So let's get real here. AMC has that system, uh, and you're watching today for a reason. Your practice, perhaps due to the pandemic or, uh, or other, is not where you want it to be. And we've already kind of addressed that. Uh, I'm, gonna, I'm just going to get real. It's not where you want it to be. And for me, that's not what I want to hear either. If your practice isn't where you want it to be, then it's not where I want it to be. And AMC is here to help you. We are here with a system that can help make a difference in your practice and change more lives in your community. 
We'll help you hit your practice goals. If you don't know, if you don't have any practice goals, we'll help you to create your practice goals. I know today's video is about referrals and we're certainly gonna talk about that, uh, but I want you to understand, listen to the end, I'll give you some information on how to get a hold of me and let's just have a conversation about your practice and about what we might be able to do to help you. All right, back to referrals. Step one, let's create a referral culture in your office. Doc, let me ask you, when, the patient, when a new patient walks in the front door of your office, what are they greeted with? What is the culture that they're greeted with in your office? Is the first thing they see uh, a little store over here that's selling nutrition and ice packs and pillows? Because if it is, that's very repulsive to their innate. I'm just gonna be straight up with you here. Um, many patients, before they're actually willing to walk through the front door of a chiropractic office, have been thinking about it for two to two and a half years. When they walk through the front door, they already have sometimes some strange expectations of what's gonna happen. They're nervous, uh, their innates are more tuned in than they probably ever have been in their life. And they're walking in and they see that I'm gonna be sold something. Patients don't wanna be sold. They wanna buy, but they don't wanna be sold. So there's a place for that, but it's certainly not the waiting room. What about the expectation that you have in your office? Um, in my office, a common expectation we had was that everyone refers one and many refer more. And we had that broadcast all over the office. Patients didn't know it, but my staff certainly did. And the doctors that were working with me certainly did. Everyone refers one, every new patient. There's an expectation that they're going to refer. Number two, you have to have a system that encourages referrals. Uh, let me just list a few things, just a few, that the AMC system does for this. We'll start with day number one, consultation and exam. Consultation and exam, the, the first time you meet that patient, you're already going to be setting the stage for them um, on an expectation of referrals. Day number two and, and, and on with, the, with um, reports, um, you're constantly setting that stage and setting that expectation and planting that seed so patients understand that they are supposed to refer. Um, outside of that, uh, as a patient moves through the acute care and into whatever lifetime might, care might look like in your office, there are so many different ways that the AMC system ad addresses referrals and encourages patients to refer. But I'm just gonna list a few. The five-point office visit, the 10-visit checklist. Now you already know, unless you're an AMC doctor, you don't know what those mean but I'm gonna list them for you anyway. So five point office visit, 10 visit checklist, CA checklist, condition of the week, vertebra of the week, family health questionnaire, progress reports, uh, the POC, patient appreciation day, the list goes on and on and on when you have an effective system that teaches you how to teach a patient to refer. So then begs the question that I mentioned earlier, are we teaching our patients to share their story? Do the patients understand the value of their story? Many times patients don't think that the experience they've had in their office is all that important. So we have to give them opportunities to share their stories. We do that by gathering testimonials, both video and written testimonials. Video testimonials are so important for your social media presence and your online presence. And then of course, written testimonials are right there in the office to encourage both the patient that wrote it, to encourage you and your staff, and then certainly other patients that are there. Um, creating an environment through expectation that shows patients they are expected to refer. Um, and, and much of what we've talked about up to this point it absolutely sets that expectation. I've got a doc that I coach now, and he's in Florida here. He opened his practice, um, I'm going to say August of 2020, the year of the pandemic. Um, he quickly grew that practice using the AMC system. Um, and, and he's got some fantastic, outstanding cash collection numbers. I'm not going to get into that right now. But what I want you to know about his practice is 10 months into practice, and his 80% of his new patient numbers are referred new patients. Imagine that. Imagine having the ability to know that you come into practice and when you see a new patient uh, on the schedule, there's an 80% chance that they're referred. You know what that means. So let's talk about, let's wind this up a little bit here, but let's talk about a healthy AMC office. 
If you're in an office that, um, let's say in May, you saw 500 patient visits, that should mean in a healthy office uh, that in April, you would have 15 new patients referred into your office. Again, doc, we've got years and years of data um, that shows this. So 500 patient visits in May should reflect 15 new patients, referred new patients in April. If your care plan value is average of what ours is in AMC, um, that's gonna be about $3,000. So, assuming your conversion of those 15 new patients is healthy at 80%, that means 13 of those 15 or more are gonna come under care in your office. That's a $3,000 average value. If you do the math, that's $32,500 for the month of April, or I'm sorry, June, <laughs> in, in your office. So um, May, 500 patient visits. June, I said April and that's wrong. June is 15 new patients referred, $3,000 value uh, with a 80% um, close gives you $32,500 a month with just referred new patients. A healthy practice is gonna have other avenues of new patients coming in. You have social media, you're gonna have outreach that you do. Uh, so that, that's, you can quickly see that that's a practice that grows very, very well uh, and very, very strong. And uh, that's what we want for you. So look, Doc, um, I'm gonna wind this down, uh, but I, I want you to know my, my responsibility at AMC is to talk to you about how we might be able to help you uh, to have a practice like that. So contact me. Let's talk about it. There's no strings attached. I'm not a scary guy, I promise. Uh, I would love to have a conversation. I'd love to hear your story, and I'd love to share with you how AMC might be able to make a difference. It is what we do. It is who we are. My name is Dr. Greg Miller. My phone number is 904-463-3906. I look forward to hearing from you soon. Doc, we've got a live Zoom call on August 12th at 1 p.m. Eastern with more detail on referrals in your practice. Register at amcfamily.com slash calendar. AMC is here to help your practice become respected, effective, and valued.